What's up YouTube? So today we are going to go over my status on my Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin. So I've been buying uh, daily orders of $25 into Ethereum and this is the progress it's been so far. Um, so I am losing 4% uh, despite uh, buying this regularly every day uh, for the past week. So, um, you know, so far, this is the progress. This is um, the update. Um, despite, you know, buying it regularly, um, I see that um, typically Robinhood places the order around 2 to 4 p.m. Um, so every day they plan to have an auto buy during that time. So, you know, despite that, you know, it's been buying regularly every day uh, for the past week. Um, the average price is still um, 4,191. And right now the price is 4,000, close to about 4,000. It's going up and down around 4,000, even went down to 4,000. So, um, you know, is this the, you know, good way, you know, with the reoccurring uh, purchase? Yes and no, you know, it is a safer bet then put in everything in one lump, one lump sum. However, um, you do lose out on um, you know potential big dips. Um, for example, if they dip around say twelve and midnight, but then your regular recurring purchase is there between two to four every day, um, you do miss out on some of the big dips. So um, you know, is this the best approach for you? Um, probably not. So I've been trying to implement uh, some of the uh, offset buys. So I've been placing it, you know, ridiculously low, you know, or, you know, close to maybe $3,500 per Ethereum. Then when that triggers, I'll put a more, you know, bigger lump sum uh, for a limit buy. So that will certainly lower my average cost basis down um, by by a lot and then when it shoots back up then you know I'll be back on the positive side instead of being on the red right now I'm still in the red um, despite there's only a couple hundred dollars it's not you know a huge loss or a huge gain at the moment so um, you know right now I'm just still testing out this um, reoccurring buy um, and a lot of folks are saying, you know, it will go down substantially in the near future. But in this case, you know, I'm just going out for the long haul. You know, if it does drop down to 2000 or back down to even like 500 you know, I'll continue, you know, to buy um, on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Stay tuned.